to Hernando County, where deputies are searching for the shooter who killed a 17-year-old girl and wounded her mother. It happened around 1130 last night in South Brooksville. This was in the 700 block of Hazel Avenue near Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us live from the scene with an update on the story. Brittany. Isabella Scavelli was a junior at Hernando High School. The entire school community now in mourning. Family tells us that she was adopted and she lived at this home behind me with her mom. Neighbors say they heard at least six gunshots. When I got up and looked out the door, I saw the police cars out here. Hernando County deputies say 17-year-old Isabella Scavelli and an adult woman were shot at 11.30 p.m. Tuesday night at this home on Hazel Avenue in South Brooksville. Both were airlifted to the hospital. Scavelli tragically died. Uh, you know, anytime you uh, have a person uh, die as a result of any type of violence, it's unfortunate. Uh, the fact that it's a teenager who uh, who died, who had a, a long life ahead of her. Authorities have not revealed what led up to the double shooting. Family tells us the relationship between the two victims, mom and adopted daughter. It's our detectives are working nonstop, um, tracking down leads uh, in the case, and uh, hopefully with any luck, uh, we'll be able to get our hands on a suspect uh, in a short period of time. The Hernando County School District says Scavelli was part of the tennis team and student government. She's described as an energetic and kind teen. It's sad to lose somebody in your family like that. It's bad anyway you lose them, but that's horrible. Grief counselors were at Hernando High School today to support the school community during this tragic time. And Jen, deputies are actively searching for that shooter. Well, do we know anything about that suspect right now? Jen, at this time, no. Hernando County deputies have not released any information about the shooter. However, they did say they do not believe that the shooter is still in this area. Of course, we'll keep you updated. If you know anything about this shooting or the suspect, give the sheriff's office a call immediately. All right, Brittany Muller reporting live in South Brooksville. Thank you.